MBT. The weapon. Oh, I didn't know that this was a tier list. I saw this whole the weapon surpass cash tier. I mean, is it purely? If if it's not purely, I just I'm calling BS. You're black. You made cheater, dude. Those videos were were like completely based in evidence and based on the fact that like Konami literally suspended those people. Like what? I press one if Cap just calls everybody a cheater. Come on. What have I what have I ever made a video saying like ah this person like dude, the Roy Saint Clair they literally suspended him three times. Like what do you what do you want? They suspended him three separate times. Come on, I feel pretty confident I can call someone a cheater if they've been banned three times. You know what I mean? Hello, YouTube! <clears throat> I feel like Sword Soul can honestly take worlds. It's, I'm not like the foremost authority on the metagame. What's like an embarrassing deck? Oh, is this a worlds list? Like, I've got VS on here. That should show you I'm a pretty unserious individual. Why we gotta start the video out by insulting Vanquish Soul, though? Like, seriously? I've also never heard it be called VS. It's, it's either Vanquish Soul or Versus deck that i thought people would play yeah like i've got vs on here that should show you i'm pretty unserious he individual. Say VS, right? but i'm back again and we are making another tier list video for the release <laughs> of duelist nexus for the purposes of the coping for the purposes of for the sake of completeness you can also assume this is the exact list for the soul burner pack as well because that is not changing a goddamn thing anyway there's a lot of really cool new cards in it um i think salamander could be like tier three yeah, Salamangre could be like tier three. Nexus, or it, it's it's worth ranking, I would say. It will upend the metagame. I'm here to give Volcano, you a week one analysis of what's going on. <laughs> so two tier lists ago, we tried to be reactive, showing off what had been working based on a bunch of tournament results. And the last time, we tried to be a little bit predictive in order to let you know what was going to be good before it was good. This time, we're going to have to meet in the middle and try and both use the week and a half of tournament results that we have under our belt, as well as make a little prognostication, get our Punxsutawney fill on about what's going to be good in the upcoming format. Okay, okay hold on. I'm just going to say this one thing, chat. And I know that, like, Everybody has been kind of rushing to get their Dune um, uh, tier list. I watched uh, Shadow Rabbits, Naya. I watched um, Joshua Smith, and now I'm watching MBT. Here's the one thing, and I don't know if, like, has anyone else just not noticed this? I don't feel like it's a good time for a tier list. I, I get that you have a new core booster set out, and we are also getting, like, Soul Burner around the corner, right? Um, I don't think we're getting a... A core set, or, or excuse me, a deck. We're not getting Valiant Smashers for like a long time. However, we could get. Do people not realize yet? We could get a ban list in like a week. When when was the last ban list chat? The last ban list was literally YCS of uh, Philadelphia, right? That was May twenty eighth or something. BP, you were there. You, you should know. Um, this was it was YCS Philadelphia, literally on during the event on Saturday. Who's to say we don't get a ban list in like a week? Because we are in August now, Chad. It's been three months. May 23rd? Okay, so what I'm saying is like we could be two weeks from an FNO list, that, that which would invalidate any tier list. You know what I mean? Because like what if Konami says Branded Fusion the one? Well, now you have to reevaluate your entire positioning of Branded. You know what I mean? Or I, I don't know what else could just be crazy. You know what I mean? Um... <laughs> I was going to say ban tier cards. Ban all the Ishizu cards. I would love that. Memorial Day weekend. Uh, Vancouver is next month. Okay, so maybe maybe they'll throw one out before Vancouver. Then I'm like, what's the next one? Before we get YCS? started, I just want to let you know I am being really, really, really conservative Cock. about what I consider tiered decks. If you're a terrible deck that does see metagame percentage and does win tournaments, ends up in tier three... I mean, that's the purpose, right? Like, the tier three decks should be able to do well in tournaments, right? <clears throat> I don't know why we all decided the tier three was a holding facility for bad decks. Like, let's begin at the top of tier one. I think the <laughs> best deck in the upcoming format is not Cash Tira. That's shocking, right? I think it's Pearly. This is a weird position for Pearly <coughs> to be in. Pearly was decent in previous formats. Um, that's because Pearl it still had good. the capacity to take over the game, although you had to both draw a little well and basically play Ooh. perfectly the entire time. Well, I don't, I don't know about this chat. Part of me just wants to say, like, D-Barrier is looking crazy right now, chat. 
Because, I mean, you, you have, like, another fusion. You have a you have this super, super popular fusion deck that everyone's playing. You have the old fusion deck, which is right here, the branded deck. And now Purely just also gets smacked by this. And while you could also say, like, couldn't you use D-Barrier against Cash? Was it really that? Like, Cash could still kill you under D-Barrier. Like, if, if they're still ending on, like, Fenrir plus Unicorn, like, they can still do a lot of damage by ripping your extra deck and banishing your card after you, like, you know, hypothetically locked out their turns. Like, they can still do a lot under D-Barrier. Purely, like, doesn't do anything under D-Barrier because all their monsters are, like, zero attack. They're not, like, 2,800 or anything like that. So there's, like, no threat to actually die. Uh, ban D-Barrier, please. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yes, yes, you also have the Synchro decks. I mean, seriously, like, D-Barrier chat gets so much coverage. Like, what does this deck do when you just, that's, that's why chat, by the way, so I'm kind, I'm not saying that I'm not going to play Vanquish Soul, because right now, I am leaning towards Vanquish Soul, but I'm also thinking about Altergeist. However, I am not considering for this format, I'm not considering any deck that's not link-based, because I feel like D-Barrier is just too, it, it's too, I don't want to just, like, lose to D-Barrier. So it's like, that. that's why I think, like, decks like Unchained are in, like, a pretty good position. I wouldn't want to play a, a deck, like, that just, like, oh, you you got deburied and lost. Like, cool. Nah, I'd rather just play like Alter Geist or something where like you can't debarrier me. Cause all I'm gonna do is link summon. You know what I mean? Just unban Red Reboot, Kiba. Uh Debarrier at the start of a format. Monka S Debarrier after one. I mean, I don't know, man. If the best deck is purely in, it just literally can't play. What do they do if they get debarrier chat? Press one to make Sky Striker Link Monster pass. Cool. Cause we're all afraid of that shitty card. You get one pop and then you like pass turn. Cool. No, no one's afraid well of that. is less the name of the game now that they have. It. Yo, I'm there for that. Unban Meow Mew. That would be that would be so cool. Like unban Meow. That, I would I would be there for. I never played like prank kids, but I'd play that deck. The pearly form of the sleepy memory. You do still have to pilot this deck really efficiently if you want to walk away with the W, and that's going to make a lot of players. <clears throat> think this deck sucks Cringe at kids. the highest levels of competition this is going to be in my opinion the best deck but that also puts it in a really precarious <clears throat> position pearly's a deck that's insanely telegraphed it's known what the deck does and what it attempts to do mm -hmm. and for that reason it's also kind of easy to sideboard against uh if you just missed the most recent remote duel extravaganza pearly ended up in the finals against labyrinth and just got dimension barrier twice I mean, cool that said i think this is one of those decks what, what did i just say <laughs> what, what did i just say like, cool, get d buried twice. Have fun, Pleb. <laughs> like, you get d buried twice, you can't play the game. You know what I mean? Same thing with this deck. Same thing with this deck. Uh, I don't see the, the Chimera deck. Oh. Okay, never mind. It's right here. Yeah. Like, it's, it's two. It's like, I don't want to play a deck that just get d buried and you just lose. Decks that despite the amount of hate against it will Cap, be You don't want to play Chimera? It. I think Chimera is crazy. I think Chimera is like... I think that deck has... Tier 1 potential, chat. You guys might think I'm over... I think that deck has, like, Tier 1 potential, to be honest. I think it's one of the strongest decks in the game. I just think that it loses the D-Barrier. Uh, the ability to use its cards defensively, just <coughs> put up blockers by activating the quick play spells, and then make it to your turn and make a big-ass Zeus and win the game. Oh, I see. Not post you all are saying I'm coping because I didn't put Cash Tier as number one. Okay, Cash Tier is number two. All right, how about that? Yeah, I'm putting Cash Tier as the second best deck. deck. Obviously, Cash Tier is incredibly good. Most recent Chimera, results of the oh, extravaganza <laughs> show that it still has the capacity what? to top major events. And God, I think. And Chimera, El what are you dis? What? There's no. There's uh, Elvich only has zombie monsters. What are, what, are, what are you? What are you fusion summoning into? There's like, there's literally no synergy with Eldritch at, there's so many archetypes that Chimera actually chat has, has synergy with. Branded, I know GG has been playing Tri-Brigade, which sounds really bad to be honest. I just like, over Branded, I just, I just don't get it. Um, like you could play Tri-Brigade, you could play Branded, but like Eldritch is just not, well, it's not even, it's not even freaking Beast or Wing Beast. Like, what are you doing? Anything short of a ban list is going to be insufficient to stop yeah, this Chimera's deck from being good. one of the best in the room. Plunder? The weird part about this deck is that a lot of the cards that people oh, really also have a lot of crossover. You play with Labyrinth. Thing. Uh, things like Dimensional Barrier are really good. Calling Exist. Uh, that and, oh, said, yes, they're yeah. a little less you good. Cashier is more than happy to just end on like Fenrir Pass and 
finagle their way into a turn three, at which point they can just wipe you. Also, probably yeah, should be said that a lot of decks don't have the capacity to play through the macro cosmos that is a rise heart, including Pearly, which has a really difficult time doing so. Not an impossible time. Renewed access to cards like Zeus mean that this deck does stand a fighting chance in a way that it didn't uh, in the past, but, you know, I'm not going to pretend it's a good matchup. And we got one more in tier one, <laughs> despite a pretty poor... Hold on. What is this third tier one deck? Okay, look, if, if it was just me, based on what I've seen, no, oh my God, bro. Everybody always be saying Dragon's like the greatest deck ever. It's not. If it was just based on me. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I, no, I know what it is. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I, it's Labyrinth. I'm trolling. It's Labyrinth. Yeah, I was, I was going to say it would be Chimera, but it's, it's actually just Labyrinth. I, I, I really, really overthought this. I'm sorry. It's, it's actually Labyrinth. I'm wrong. Poor performance at the last uh, extravaganza. I am going to put... Runic Sprite in tier one. Oh my god! What? 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 Does he even play this game? This deck is fucking terrible! What? Bro, first off, you, you literally can't beat purely at all. Like, if you go second, you, you have to, like... Okay... Um, number, like, if you don't have a battle phase chat, like, you can't kill Pearly, which is really, really bad. The whole, like, decking your opponent out, like, isn't gonna work. Because if they have, like, my friend, uh, let's say that they have, like, Sleepy, like, like, they have, like, Little Noir chat, like, the Baby Noir, and then they have, like, the Rank Up card, right? And usually, what does the Baby Noir have under it chat? It usually has two Sleepies, because they, they use one to rank up with, and then they take the field spell, and they put the second one under it. Right? So they try to like draw two and then rank up to Big Noir and then draw two more cards. And at that point, they have like so much advantage plus two spin backs. Plus, if you kill Big Noir, they get like three cards back. So it's like eight cards of card economy where you like you can't outgrind them. If you happen to have like freezing chains to stop the two draws and they chain the uh, trap and you have um, flashing fire, that's two specific cards to answer that. But they still have my friend too, which means they get all their cards back. Now, most decks could like potentially kill the pearly player. You could like book a moon them and just like if you have a combo deck, like push and kill them. But what can't you do, chat, if you use runic cards? What what can you literally not do? Uh kill your opponent because you don't have a battle phase. Like this is I, I don't I don't get where this is coming from. Like this this idea that like sprite no, this deck is not good. Okay, so... And I'm also, also, chat, if Big Combo is in the meta, and I'm not saying, like, Big Combo is, like, super good right now, but if Big Combo is in... We saw this at YCS Philly, chat. If Big Combo is in the meta, then Runic is, like, inherently terrible. Um, or these Runic variants, because, like, you need ways to, like, break boards, and if your opponent just negates all your shit... That's why uh, when Super Heavy Samurai was, like, good, chat, nobody played Runic. Because, like, cool, go second with just Runic cards have all your stuff negated, and then you can't win. I'm sorry for believing. I apologize yeah, you should. for being who I am. I just, no. So look, I, 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 thought, I thought objectively he was going to say Labyrinth, and I was like, I'm overthinking this. But then he said it's done poorly, and I was like, maybe he's going Rescue Ace. Yes! 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 Yo, what's up, Gary? How you doing tonight? Manadium could be put in Tier 1. Um, doubt it. How you doing tonight, Gary? Someone in the stream said you went 15 and 0 yesterday. Are you on stream? I just this deck is just not it. Is it's not like is it's it probably has a good cash turn matchup, but like your purely matchup is terrible, and your matchup versus big combo is terrible, and I think your matchup versus like the Chimera deck is terrible too because all the runic cards target. And uh, the corn card, cornfield, like already negates one of those. So it's like you're starting with four cards basically, and if anything happens to your runic engine, you just lose. So a heart of hearts. Try mirror best deck. I'm gonna be honest, guy. I don't, I don't understand the try. I under, I think Chimera is is amazing, and I think it's like arguably tier one. I just don't, I don't understand your like. The, the, the try part at all like i just try i, I don't get why you'd want to play try brigade with it but because like branded i get you activate branded fusion and it automatically links you to like the the chimera stuff for free i just don't get what's that like i need to see that josh paid you off for this one the check 
yeah, maybe please. has this, cleared. Like, Let's what, talk what about Runic Sprite. Well, Runic Sprite didn't have a fantastic weekend at the Extravaganza. It did have a fantastic weekend in terms of the events that were being held over the weekend at Locals. And I, I hate to cite Locals for... Press one if Locals means more than YCS Extravaganza. What are we... MBT, what, what are we doing? Uh, locals? For metagame dominance. Yes, so Here I am please. doing it anyway like a fucking moron. Locals? This deck didn't get a ton in Dune, but it didn't really need a ton. Uh, Runic Sprite is the core of a number of extremely good decks, most notably the, the Fur Hire solved, strategy, bro. which is just absolutely so good in the hands of a skilled pilot. They did also receive a singular card that I think we were absolutely wrong about, Click and Echo. Uh, it allows oh, you to this? basically get... Cannot be used uh, as material for a fusion, synchro, or to C. So you just link with it? Cannot be uh, attributed while face up in the monster zone. If this card is sent to the graveyard, it's linked material. So I'm guessing you summon this from Gigantic or something. Because you're not going to normal summon this. Maybe? Special summon this card in defense position to the opponent's field. Wait, 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 what? Special to the opponent's field of the player that Link summoned. Dude, this is already complicated. It protects against Niv or something? Does the deck need... I mean, if you're running Gigantic, do you need protection against Nib? Like, Gigantic is literally the protection of for Nib. It's just Ibly. While this card... Um, while this card that was summoned by its effect is in the monster zone... You must keep your hand revealed. <laughs> what is even the point of I'm, 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 dude? Either I'm dumb or I just not see. What is the what is the point of this card? I'm, I'm not seeing it. It reveals the hand. Okay, what is the purpose of that? So like we know what like what is the to beat Va ah yes to beat Vanquish Soul. So you know the attributes they have. I got it. <laughs> hand knowledge of your like what your opponent, um, which is really good when you have like a few very telegraphed negates like red and carrot you like know what you have to be this negating is, right. i think we as a community have kind of slept on the power of hand knowledge and i think a card that near guarantees you that knowledge <laughs> is really really strong and may just be what runic sprite needed to keep up with the other two tier one decks let's go to tier two tier two Mm -mm. First deck isn't too surprising. It is Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Okay. Labyrinth is a strange deck. Uh, last format, I was pretty sure it was a top three strategy, and then it absolutely face planted at two consecutive WCQs, so I wasn't really sure anymore. The thing about Labyrinth is that they do have. I don't know about that. Chat, would you. I, I think I think Labyrinth did okay at, at Euros. Um, You know, it wasn't. Didn't it make like top four and then, you know. The girl feather dusted the guy, and that was pretty much a wrap, right? I wouldn't say face planted. If if you get feather dusted and left, like, what do you, you know? Have a significant amount of do? cards that just win the game on the spot. How did it do uh, Eradicator locals, does a ah, pretty good, good, good job of just ending <laughs> the uh, game. As does Dimensional Barrier, as does a ton of Lingering Floodgates you can't even really interact with, etc., etc. Uh, but it also has the capacity to brick, and it also has a pretty big weakness to hand traps. Hand traps that are good against the other decks that are the majority of Tier 1. Ash it well. also gets really bad post-board. Once your opponent knows what you are doing, they can board accordingly, and as a result, you are going to have a rough time. Sans, like, literally just hitting EEV back-to-back. You know, this, this deck's good. I think it's powerful. It had a great showing at the Extravaganza. Uh, but I think it's going to be a lot less powerful as people figure out what they want to be doing in this format. And Huh. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that would stop. It says play with your hand revealed. Chat, can you reveal a card if your hand is revealed? I'm going to say, I don't know. It says revealing monsters. But, like, I would assume you can still reveal. Is, is this an imperm skill drain thing where it's like you can't negate a card that's already negated? You can't reveal if your hand's already revealed. <laughs> it's, the, it's the 200 IQ against versus because they can't reveal. So they don't have and the bonus effects. Weak one okay. cards like Dimensional Barrier become less strong. The other deck I think is in tier two is... Dragon Link. All right. I'm coping. I'm this completely deck is, I'm This deck is bad. This deck is bad. I mean, it's not... It's not bad. 
but it's bad. You know what I think the best card in like Dragon Link is, chat? I think it's rebranded. I think that's like the the card that like holds that entire deck together. Cause it's it's the card that just gives them like resource after re like I get to draw a card this turn, I get to summon Magnumut. Magnuma is like a body on on field. It it some it searches something else. If I have the trap, which I think the spell gets the trap from the graveyard, then they also get to pop something for free. Like I think that I think rebranded is like the glue that holds the together the whole deck because it just does so much for the deck. Um, I also think Chaos Angel is kind of nuts in this deck because they're like the only deck that can get both um, attributes. But like, what are Bestials good against and purely or like cash like i know the little cats are dark and light but like the cats being in the graveyard is not important that's not how purely plays you know what i mean branded regained i just i don't i don't think bestials are in like a good spot right now bestials aren't good against sprite like if you just look at them against the top three that bestials are almost unplayable against cash Terra. they're not good against this deck because the cats don't do anything in the graveyard they just rank up from like their hand or their or spells like so i don't really see it coping dragon link is so good right now come on be cool so dragon link's got a couple of things going for it firstly it had a really good wcq season as far as clearing goes it didn't exactly get out of top cut to the degree that it needed to for me to take it super seriously but it was around. The deck's got a couple of different builds now and is still undergoing a lot of theory crafting in terms of what people actually want to end on because I mean, there's such an unbelievable array of extenders that you really <clears throat> can just pick your poison. The one that I like the most is the one that's playing Assault Synchron. I think that card's really good. Theoretically, mm. they could also play Revolution Synchron and like use it to pivot between field spells or something ridiculous. I, I bought two of those, really by the way, Twitch chat. I think the thing that's keeping a lot of people off of Dragon Link is that it's uh, boring as shit. It is so goddamn boring. Really? But I think that a lot of people who have been playing this deck for a long time are going to see a lot of Dragon success in this boring? upcoming format just because of how flexible, powerful, and... I thought people loved Dragon League because it wasn't boring. And just flexible and powerful it is. Also, some decks just can't be Borland. That's nice. That's and now, true. Tier 3. You all can just type the hate comments now. I know what you're going to write. I know what's I know what's going to be down there. I, do I feel like he's going to start with, like, Rescue Ace. As like a t first, I already disagree with this because I think this deck is higher than tier three. I mean, I think this deck's better than dragons, like for sure. I think this deck's better than dragons. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this this one. I feel like this one could go a bunch of plays. Like I get we don't have Mecha Phantom Beast or Roar on chat, so like. We don't get all the ridiculous plays they get in the OCG, but like, I don't know, I still think this deck is really good. Cash, oh, he has Cash as the second best deck anime night. Don't even have to scroll. I'm familiar you with your whining. Reveal. Branded. I don't know, man. Nesh be making. Did anything look change like the best deck. in Branded? I. I was talking to someone about the new Branded lines, and they were walking me through them, and all of them were were like. So after you branded Fusion, I was like, yeah, like, stop right there, you know? <laughs> the deck still has a lot of raw power in it, despite mm -hmm. the fact that now Brews look more like a Trinity deck than the Dragon Link Brews do. Uh, and it does have the capacity to do a bunch of unfair stuff like Labyrinth, where it just ends the game on the spot. You can use Sanctifier in order to set up the gimmick puppet thing, although it's a higher investment. And it also has the ability to dodge a couple of specific pieces of interaction. Non-Ash hand traps got a lot less good after Finally, people started figuring out uh, how you could use Cartesia to dodge specific things. But at the end of the day, you kind of do need to be resolving branded fusion or you are in a pickle. And that's not a fantastic place to be. Second deck in tier three. And this one, I permit you to make fun of me for. I have been wrong about this deck in the past. I have been very tier? wrong about it. I'm ready to be wrong about it again. Here it is. Marincis. Oh, Marincis. Okay, so <laughs> Marincis had an <laughs> insane weekend at the extravaganza. It was really shocking. Bro, I don't under like... Chat, how does this deck consistently surprise us? Cause like I swear, I swear to God, Marin says be that one deck that just comes out of nowhere and gets like a top four, and everyone's like, "Wait, what do these cards do again?" And it, it like does it, and then DB Grinder was playing it, and it didn't look that impressive. But a good Marin, I, I, I think it is very similar to Rika. Like a good Marin player is pretty like it's it's a, it's a good deck in in like the hands of a good player. It really is. You know what I mean? No deck knowledge. Blue 
Salaman Great. I don't like to think of it as cute Salaman. I mean, Salaman Great with girls. It's literally what it is. It's just, yeah, this blue Salaman. Fuckingly yeah. good. It's a combination of like hand traps being really important because two hand traps is like pretty good against the pearly setup. And they're very cute. In the past, they are. Marincess had a good weekend right before I put out a tier list. And I Cat said that Marincess lollies. was a deck to look out for. I like the one with and the, then it completely the ram flopped upon hair. the YCS for which That's I made the tier one. list. I'm ready to be that wrong are again. Not? I'm just going to keep saying this deck is decent until I fucking collapse. Who's going to prove me wrong? It's going to get one top every format until the end of time. All right, now let's move right on that. to Rogue. First and foremost... I guess I'll put Rescue Ace here. Okay. No one knows where they'll place this deck. No one know I'm telling you, chat. No one knows how to no one knows where to actually place this deck. By the way, I'm just gonna point out this deck could also run Slayer if it wanted to. Just point out. I've seen people run Super Poly. Just man, dude. I'm I'm so fiending to run Slayer chat. To run Ultimate Slayer. Like I I got I got I got Starlight um Tri Brigade, Burfamus. I got I got Starlight. Um what's the other one? The the Link 2, Fergie. I got I got like all the Starlight cards for the Tri Brigades. And I'm I'm so ready to play Slayer Chat in a deck. I really okay, am. Okay, so I built this deck because I thought it was fun and good. And uh I am reticent to tell you that it is neither fun nor good. <laughs> Rescue Ace is fine. It's like okay. It's it's gameplay loop is telegraphed and rich. repeatable to a degree oh, provided rich. you can find the field spell and put all the cards back and then do it again uh but it's not really exactly where you want to be the turn one setup is incredibly interruptible if you uh, don't draw super well you can interact with the hydrant which just wins you the game on the spot despite the fact that you're putting up four cards in the back row there are a lot of decks primarily cash tira and the zeus factory that is pearly and runic sprite, which can just extend to infinity anyway, that can play through <clears throat> setups like that. Yeah, you probably and have the a bad deck. Doesn't have like head. a ton of offensive capability. Like a lot of the time, you get to parity, and then you're able to resolve turbulence, but it doesn't immediately win you the game. Like you have to be winning for another <clears throat> turn and a half. And if the reason your opponent wasn't able to put up a board that could resist that be was because really they have a bunch mean, of hard ones programs in their hand, and not because they ran out of material, then you might actually just straight up lose anyway. That's kind of really frequent in a format that includes cash tier or fenrir and finally it's got a huge weakness in back row it can't it's clear that a lot of this deck's strength is the fact that in the ocg they decided to hit everything with a pulse and they also have max illegal next up monadium been getting a lot of hate for saying this deck is mid i will continue to do it monadium is mid as all hell what about i think monadium has the second strongest turn one on this list but it's also really weak if you go second, I think. What says you, chat? I think the strongest turn one on this list is this guy. But Monadium ending on like, because their standard turn one board is like Oppo, Dispatter, Baron, and the Trap card. And that the Trap card is like what cements, because like otherwise they would just lose to Dark Ruler. But the Trap card is like what cements it. It's the sh it's a shadow of I mean yeah it, it it feels very super heavy samurai to be honest it does it's pushing power is crazy I think chat I think um and it feels a little unfair to me I think all of these uh Visas decks just because of that fusion chat their pushing power feels artificially inflated because it's like even if you get Visas off the field and you deal with the I don't know whatever X heart card it was. The fact that they can just pull that fusion out of their ass, essentially, summon it, pop one of your dudes, and then run over another dude for free using, like, no real resources, just using the great fills, that feels nuts to me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wish Versus had a card like that where I can just banish random verse mo Versus monster from the graveyard and get, like, a pop and, you know, something like that. Like, that card feels very, very good to me. This is one of those decks that, like, really looks good if the only people you're subscribed to are like lithium like in a world Aww. where your opponent never interacts Yo, random with lithium shots <laughs> in any sort of meaningful capacity you will probably die of dehydration from coming yourself before you'll lose a game with this strategy but in reality the deck just kind of folds to everything all of the lingering floodgates that stop better decks or at least slow them down like literally Control, lose you the entire shifter. match 
I was told by a lot of people that once they got the additional ball and revolution synchron, they would be able to start converting. But that didn't happen in the OCG. And in the TCG, revolution. people are even considering like not playing revolution synchron at all because the deck. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I don't think they play revolution synchron in this deck, Chad. I I haven't seen like I'm not a Manadium expert or anything, but I don't think Manadium plays revolution synchron. They might like. Cause the 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 little the little Manadium dudes are like level twos and they're also tuners, so I don't I don't think they play that. List is too tight. Everything is a two card combo, which doesn't bode particularly yeah. well. And the end boards are interruptible in ways that are frustrating. Like having a way to out like a big ass synchron that you've made after being hand trapped once turns off not only the negate that is that synchro, but also the back row that like has to have a synchro Cycle on field, field in oh, order yeah. to interact with it. It's just like. Uh, it's okay. It's it's fine. It's just like a, a bricky fuck off combo deck. And there's like four bricky fuck off combo decks that are less bricky and more of a fuck off combo deck above it. Okay, exact same problem on Synchron. A lot of people were trying to pill me on the fact that Synchron's really good now that they have Revolution Synchron, and I agree that that, that does just... change some stuff. But it doesn't resolve the largest issue, <laughs> which is that you have to have Junk Speeder Resolve or you lose the game on the spot. A lot of the reason that this deck had a lot of individual power, even in games in which Junk Speeder was negated, is because it had access to Chaos Ruler, which still gets you to a lot of your plays oh. in this deck specifically. We ain't got I didn't know that. Yeah, I never thought about Chaos Ruler in this deck, chat. I, I actually never thought... Because, like, I've seen the TCG version of it. I've actually never thought of, like, what could we do if we had Chaos Ruler 2? At that, there are some hands that can make speeder towers, but there are a lot of hands that do nothing. And out of the board, I feel like it's just going to lose to everything anyway. Like, you put up a million negates, all concentrated on monsters. Guess what? People are playing Dark Ruler no more in order to beat uh, Cash Tier or Rise Heart. So, um... I'd go for Calamity. Team. The thing that's freaking me out is what chat has identified, which is you can do the Crimson Dragon combo in here. Yeah. And, like, ooh, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend King, Calamity is a very scary card. If your opponent draws nothing, like, that's going to be crazy, right? God, I hate to do this. Next up is fucking... What a bad couple of months it's been for Matthew. Why is this even on Rogue? This deck is like, ah, he needs a he needs that Cali tier chat of oh baby, what are you doing? Like, why is this a tier deck? Like, because si what does Mathmat do well other than make access code? Which, by the way, Salaman Great probably does for the same exact amount of card, probably less. Like, okay, just give me one reason, chat. To play Math Mac right now over Salaman Great. I feel like the only reason to play Math Mac is because it's super factorial. But Salaman Great has good traps too, and you can pull them from the deck as well. Uh, there's like no re yeah, just get FTK by B Seals. That that's what that's what you want to do. Salaman Great is like the, literally the same deck, but you don't lose the B Seals because they're fire. Both decks get wrecked by Nib. Both deck get, both decks get wrecked by Droll. Both decks have their best kind of monster at limited. Like, what? Why are you playing Math Mech over Salaman Great? And Salaman Great's getting all this support. I, I just don't. I don't. I don't see why. <laughs> Funny trap. You didn't even get the one week. <laughs> Funny trap that just lose again. That just loses the Beastials. Like, if you super factorial and your opponent Beastials, you automatically lose the game. <laughs> they banish the negate. They banish the uh, the not circular uh, the diameter. And you just automatically lose. As they go like Magna Mud Effect. Where it was randomly Seriously. the best deck this time. It's just already ass. So Math Mech. This deck is not good. Math Mech is in a weird position in that it loses to literally everything on this tier list in some capacity. So decks why is like it Cash tier? Decks have cards with so much individual utility concentrated in single monsters that they can push through something like a super factorial by threatening it without having to commit to the board. Decks like Marincess get to play cards like Droll and Lockbird that just read win the game versus this strategy. People you also randomly play Bell. get to into Dragon Link's main and most of these guys' sideboards. And a lot of these decks, like Labyrinth and Branded, don't give a fuck if you make a big-ass access code on turn three. That shit's not resolving. We'll always have pod format. I mean, like, two weeks of pod format. Yeah, yeah. The Next first up. two weeks, it was good. Man, I don't know what to do with Sword Soul. Uh, Sword, 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 Sword Soul is just Sword Soul, baby. Did anyone see chat? So, like, I, I know I'm not pausing a lot, but did anyone see the play where the guy was playing Sword Soul and he used um, Duality on his on his Shijiao and he turned it into... Uh, he turned it into Mirror Jade. That was dope. Like I, I, I never. That card is. That card is really cool. I, I never would have thought about that. Like that was actually super cool to summon Mirror Jade and Sword Soul. Yeah, he, he uh, he had Siege out, used it in the gate, and then he used Duality, and then he turned it into into um 
Mayor Jade. And it's like, ah, oh, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It's been doing the same. Waste of next phase. It's cool though. It's really cool. Yeah. It's like um turning Alistair into uh into Herald of the Arc Light. Like that, I think that's a cool play too. Turn Alistair into into a negate basically. Thing for like two years at this point. The thing that it does is really strong. Uh, there have been no hits to the strategy, so I can't Brothers. even pretend like things got worse. It's just kind of getting crept <clears throat> slowly. It's yeah. a good deck. You know, I'm not going to pretend like it's not a good deck. I, I agree with I that. I wouldn't bring it to a tournament, but, you know, I'm fucking bad, so who okay. cares? I think it's better Has than Sword Soul Matt, gotten though. anything in the last two years? Mm, Older? Not, not All right, really. last one I'm putting in Rogue. I... <laughs> This one's Ricka. <laughs> this one may may actually be Cope, but um <sighs> Infernoble. So Infernoble had an insane pre-release weekend. <clears throat> the first weekend of Dune where the cards were technically legal, but you couldn't theoretically get them all because they weren't sellable by sellers yet. This deck swept a lot of local tournaments. This guy's cool. Here's a question. What exactly makes Infernoble better than the other two decks, chat? Like, I'm I'm really trying to understand what, like, the discernible difference is. Because I was listening to Josh Smith, and he was like, this deck is objectively just worse than these two because all of your your inboard is, is concentrated all on just monster negations, right? Um, your monsters being negations. Not saying that it's all, like, monster uh cards that are going to be negated but like this card can go for calamities in the draw phase this one gets a trap which you know you can't like dark ruler or, or tribute you know what i mean so like the consistency you think so is that do you just think it's the consistent because like i don't know i mean yeah it it really does seem like the inboard of this deck is just the weak because like this is you, you this one just loses the dark ruler you know and the other ones don't they can search, uh, search Horn of Cleefont now. Literally the only deck I've known that has 11 Rotas. Uh, it's better in the hand traps. Like draw. Charlemagne is nice. Okay. I'm all, By the way, I'm calling this guy Charlemagne. He's Me cool. Too. Charlemagne is nice. The deck plays in a way that's like way awesome. more consistent, way more interesting <laughs> than it did in the past. But unfortunately, the way that it plays is not as unfair as it did in the past, where it got to rip a bunch of cards out of your hand, which means that it's a lot easier to beat. But the fact that it's playable at all is really shocking. I sold is still legal for some reason, so, you know, she make use of it. And now to has potential. So this time I'm using has potential as a place where you actually put decks that has potential instead of a dog shit holding facility. And we're beginning with Rika. Listen, I don't get Rika. R Rika just never converts. It just does <clears throat> not have the tops unless your name is exactly Jess who can't be touched on this fucking strategy. I'm ready to put this in has potential. And then that motherfucker wins worlds. All right. I'm prepared. It could Jessica happen. Robinson is to Ricka what Matt Nass was to KCI. Exactly. Next up, Chimera. So the illusion stuff is really interesting. Um, it's good. I don't feel like it's good enough to be its own deck yet. But but it doesn't need to be though. I, I man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Honest. I think this is the most underrated deck so far on this list. It doesn't like it doesn't matter if the Chimera stuff is good enough to be its own deck. Like it has other it has another engine right here that's good enough do they lose to i don't even want to say they lose to the same thing unless it's d barrier because you can't say they both lose to ash because if you have them together like you can only ash one thing either you're ashing chimera fusion or you're ashing um swordsman or you're ashing branded fusion and by the way chat what do you guys think is the right play i think the right play is is to ash swordsman because like the branded stuff isn't to me is not honestly that scary like, the, this stuff is way scarier. Because, like, if you let this resolve, they're getting a hand rip, they're getting a target negation, and they're getting a monster negation, plus follow-up when you kill, uh, when you actually kill the king, like, they're getting they're getting back, uh, uh, follow-up through that. Like, to me, Branded Fusion's like, cool, I can deal with one Mirror Jade. But, like, this gives them, like, four interactions, basically, or at least three. They've committed their normal on Swordsman. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's another thing. Yeah, Swordsman commits their normal summon. Like, to me, like, okay, get your branded fusion and get your, uh, 
um, whatever you're going to do. Is it Mary Jade? If it's uh, a Rembrandt, but like to me, the the the, the Chimera stuff is like scarier because it but does the cards more. Don't read crazy. Like they read search and illusion. You can't print that on a card. As is, people are experimenting it in a number of decks that already fusion summon, which is neat and interesting. But I think the deck is going to have more legs, obviously, as more illusions get released and more people tinker with the strategy as a okay. splash. Their fusion spell is ridiculously broken. That's Their broken. searchers are ridiculously cool. Chat's right. Give it a year. Unchained. Unchained. A year. A year. It's good now. Seems nuts. Am I crazy? Every time I read the new Unchained cards, I go, they really printed that on a card. Wow. That's yeah, unbelievable. It. It's on a card and it's legal and I can show up to a tournament and play it. And then you look Retaliate. at the results and it just doesn't do anything. I, I'm a little confused about this one. The only thing I can fathom is that it's a little too telegraphed and a bunch of decks like sprite and cash tira <laughs> can really take advantage of that in a way that fucking sucks for them lab unchained is the best variant in the ocg right now well if you're playing lab just play lab you know <laughs> next up geist all right i'm gonna be real with you i have no idea what the new geist cards do i read i i i wanted i, I was hoping prince blue blood would show up i really want to try alter geist chat because the problem with vanquish soul is it feels a little bit like Gladiator Beast, where, like, even when you open Nuts with Vanquish Soul, you still have to play the game. I don't just get the, like, my opponent just doesn't scoop. There's no, like, oh, flip skill drain. All right, go next. You know what I mean? Like, Vanquish Soul has to, like, grind every game. And, like, sometimes that can, like, lose you a game. I don't know. I've been thinking, like, should, should this deck run Thrust? Because you could, like, search evenly... If you go first, you can search Imperm. I don't know. I want to like theory craft. Read them and I like watched it. a couple of videos or, that like show me, off the end boards and I thought that's really cool, but I don't think this deck is very good at all. I uh, think that it night. is interesting and in the best of all possible <laughs> worlds, like a bunch of the decks above it, it can set up a really powerful board provided you draw like one or two specific cards. Yeah, but like needing to open there. Ritual Beast, Tamer, Elder, and Canahawk is not really where you want to be in 2023. It feels like a deck that could really fuck you up if you're like unprepared for it entirely. So I would say like learn the strategy and know what you have to do to stop it and pray your opponent doesn't high roll. But <laughs> user. I'm not super concerned about it. <laughs> Next up. Jeronimo? Okay. So you got to hear me out. So Tier Limit was terrible in the OCG. But then they released Revolution Synchron, and all of a sudden, it's the best deck again. Okay, so this shit is not good. I'm not going to pretend that it's good. Uh, a lot of people were telling me, you know, are you excited to play Tier Limit again? It's going to be as powerful as it was in the OCG. And, like, the reason that Revolution Synchron was so crazy well, we in Tier Limit really. in the OCG is... Because after you're done making Ancient Fairy Dragon, you can make Chaos Ruler, which they left legal, which at this point is the only thing keeping Tier Limit together. Yeah, we don't, we don't You've got to imagine really, so. it as, like a wife and a husband in an unhappy marriage and two kids that are failing all their classes and like the dinner table that is held together with like glue Coping. and spit and dreams is chaos ruler and somehow they are able to have a meal every night together in the yeah, TCG this is room. my problem tier has been topping in the ocg for two years am i just the only one like maybe chat it's because we don't communicate with ocg players i think tier is like the worst thing that happened to the OCG ever. Like, do people realize it's actually been a meta deck for two full years? Like, Cash Tira doesn't even exist in the OCG anymore because they banned Fenrir and Unicorns at one, the uh, Pressure Planets at They put, like, everything in Cash at one. And, like, Tier gets to continue being a deck. Arguably the best deck, by the way. Because, again, anything that goes to the graveyard and activates chat is technically a Tier card at this point. You know what I mean? Nah, tier post ban list is nah. I, I would if it was me, I would ban. I forget exactly what planet their their field spell. I would ban their field spell, and I would ban Rhino. Or maybe share, maybe share, maybe the 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 spell that mills. I don't know. I'd ban like two more tier cards and then limit another one. Habness. I, I don't want to ban the names. Because, like, I still want you to be able to, like, play the tier cards. So, like, I'm not going to ban any of the names. Because then it's just, like, that's too much. But, I mean, I would just, I would definitely ban the Ishizu cards. Like, for it. Like, those cards are actually dragon ruler level, like, unhealthy for the game. 
Rhino Heart eats in his room while playing CSGO. <clears throat> Next up. Word. Cancer. Man. Okay, so. This is another one. Like, to me, this is like math, man. What, what is... What is any... What's the conceivable reason to, like, play this deck? Someone in chat, tell me. Why on earth, if you had nearly 20 options, would you play Super Heavy Samurai right now? Give me any legitimate reason. You want big combo? Cool. We got three big combo decks right here that are all more consistent and better. Like, only as an engine. Ironically, the only place that I think it can kind of work is in it. I've seen it in Vanquish Soul just because they're Earth. <laughs> So, like, what What are we, double access code? They could do that. You could do that in every Cybers deck. Double attack access. Yeah, you could do that in, like, literally every Cybers deck for, for, like, one or two cards. So, like, I, I just don't see any reason to play SHS at all. If you want big combo, we have better big combo. You want to make big boards, we have better big boards. So, like, why are you even playing this? This is an archetype that, like, doesn't really work. At least it doesn't work the way that it did three months ago. So, Wakashi is dark? Oh, one of the Samurais is dark. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That that makes it even better in Bank. Yeah, yeah. If some of them are dark and Earth, that makes it even better for Versus. The argument for this one is that theoretically... Exactly. Can... SHS is a... De like, what? It's not even... This is the only option on here that's literally not a Yu-Gi-Oh. This is not a deck anymore. <laughs> play Revolution Synchron to do the Crimson Dragon line, which makes... Archfiend King Calamity. Joseph, this deck already does th this deck already does that. Like, we already have a deck that does that exact play. It probably better. Scarecrow's the whole deck, now it's gone. But that is ass. <laughs> and it's something that Monadium can do as well. And this deck can't even do anything with the ancient fairy dragon because it can't play any fucking spell cards. Yeah, you can't play Phil's bleak. The tools are there. Maybe someone can figure out something interesting to do with it, but until they do... It's an engine. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Has... That, that's why Super Heavy Samurai should not have even been on this list. Like, hold on. I'm, I'm, I feel like I had a deck on here. What's a deck that should be on this list, chat, but isn't? I don't want to say Dark World. Like, Did he miss anything from Dune? Is there, is there like a two card that like something eggs? Uh, let's do better than that. Sleepy Girl deck. Uh, <laughs> no, that, that also doesn't. <laughs> Sleepy Girl deck should not be on there either. Makanko. Okay, never mind. No, none of those are. I, I don't think any of those are good enough suggestions. Yeah, not Sleepy Girl to deck. <laughs> Nothing changed about VS. It's the exact same deck it was. It just turns out that that deck is nowhere near good enough. Uh, I put it up a lot higher in previous videos because I was coping. I will freely admit that now. Unfortunately, the existence of Maxi does wonders for this deck. It allows it to have an Earth monster in hand at all times, which turns a lot of its really powerful combos into much more consistent combos. Here, we don't have that. It's lost both its best defensive tool and its best enabler, and sometimes you just look at a handful of Fenrir and you that go, cross. why don't I just play Cash Tira? And finally, Flu. I, I don't know. I just like to put flu on these. I think the flu's crazy. The fourth most represented deck in the EUWCQ's Top Cut, by the way. What is going on over there? What do they know that we don't? Robina is British, right? So maybe that was it. That's how I think the format's going to shake out. I know you all are calling me a, a coping monster, uh, but I think this is pretty defensible with maybe one or two or seven differences. Feel free to call me an idiot in the comments, and now I will... It's not... Like, I got... This is... I just, I just don't understand this. Like, I feel like everyone and their mama is just trying to make Sprite Runic a thing. It's just not. Like, show me the tournament that Sprite Runic won in, like, the last year. Like, show me that event. Like, we all, okay, you guys love Runic. Cool. Show me that event that, like, Sprite Runic dominated. What? Like, Euros? Nope. 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 That was Cash and Rika. The NAWC? Nope. 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 That was all Cash Tira. The extravagant, nope, it, it flopped there too. Like, show me, just show me this event where, like, Sprite, this this deck did good. Oh, but Jib made top 64. <laughs> cool, Vanquish Soul made farther than that. Sprite Runic for, uh, again, sh show me, keep watching. Oh, I hope it's about Sprite Runic. We'll entertain your comments above as to why X deck should be on there. Fire off some names, I'll tell you why they're not. Gold Pride. 
You don't go. Mm, I like Gold Pride Chat, but there's like a reason why I've kind of. I have all the Starlights, but I like kind of gave up on like the Gold Pride trying to build that as it's just not. It's, it's like a really good trap. Just not good enough. Gold Pride probably should be on there. That's a bit of an oversight. I would probably put Gold Pride in Rogue. I am consistently impressed by Gold Pride. I played against it a number of times and the games just felt like unwinnable. And I was like, wow, what an interesting strategy. Yeah, I could see Gold Pride being all Phantom right. Knight. Okay. The problem is its matchup spread is not particularly good. Sometimes you draw hands with the wrong half of the deck and its power plays are <laughs> not Tistina. as powerful as the power plays of the deck. <laughs> Dark World. Okay, the difference between Dark World being terrible and Dark World being tier zero is not one copy of Dark Corridor. Dinomorphia. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong about that one, huh? Salamangrate. Okay, so the new set. This should be, oh, that that was it, yeah, yeah. Salamangrate should be on here. I think if he wants to just exclusively keep it Duelist Nexus, then I, I get it. But if he's if he's including Soul Burning Volcano, which is a cringe name, by the way, it should have, it should, what was the OCG name, chat? Was it like Blazing Duelist or Duelist of Fire or something? Whatever the OCG name is, they should have just kept that. It should have been, God, what did Rengiku say in uh, Set Your Heart Ablaze? Yeah, that's what it should have been. It should have been, it should have been Legendary Duelist, Set Your Heart Ablaze. That's full weed mode and I like it. Yeah, that's what we should have called it. Um, Salamander. I think Salamangrade is at least rogue, or it has potential. Yeah, it's it's no lower than, like, has potential. It's better than Super Heavy Samurai. Great cards that are coming out in the Soul Burner thing, they're good cards. They're good cards for a deck that doesn't exist. Salamangrade is a deck that makes, like, Baguska turn one and, like, Access Code turn three. That's and all the good it. new cards conflict with that strategy. <laughs> Exosister. I don't know. It could, it could be around. Exosister is such a weird deck. Sometimes it, it, it feels like, um... How, like, Gladiator Beast was just randomly topping until, like, 2013. Exosister could show up. That's we put point. it in has potential. I, but, like, I don't think it does have potential. I think Glad's, we Glad's know Brian what Exosister does. It just sometimes doesn't. Any Pendulum deck. No. <laughs> Invoke Generator Synchron. Dire. You're in my brain is in exactly the same place. Shouts out to the individual who was able to get top 16 at the Extravaganza with Invoke Volcan. Generator Synchron unbelievable brew I has anyone actually played volcanic yet is it like does it do anything or is it not like real because you know I, again i my knowledge from volcanic came from like a lithium video but it's just like you know it's, it's a shitty replay it's like can you really trust that pain has played it <sighs> anyone objective you know chat because like when does when does so burning volcano come out i don't think it is hero Ah, uh, Hero could be on this That list. could have been on there. I would probably put Hero in has potential. Hero now has, like, a really consistent mechanism by which it can... Oh, my God, it comes out in like a week. ...favorite hero line and uh, go for the cover card of... That's the guy Jib by the way. Out. The problem is it needs a format in which that's good, in which Dark Law's good, in which Plasma's good, and which DPE is good. If all those conditions are satisfied, then the deck is quite strong. Live Twin, uh, you can just assume that Runic Sprite is also Live Twin. Trap Trick, Trap Trick is like a monster combo deck masquerading as a back row deck, uh, but unfortunately it has alter, a really tough time going second in a way that Labyrinth <coughs> doesn't, and it has a really hard time beating stuff that comes out of the board in a way that Labyrinth doesn't. Striker, man, don't talk to me about Striker. God, uh -huh. I hope Striker is not still playable. I hope that Dragon Link is so popular that every single Striker player gets their Ray Bistield. Plunder Patrol. Is, are you serious? Uh, Marincess is only water monsters. That's that's the only reason. Otherwise, it'd be tier zero. Crystal Beast. I'm going to give Neshi a couple of weeks to figure out the Revolution Synchron Golden Rule line, and then we'll revisit Crystal Beast. Tistina. Oh, uh, Vlad, can you throw up Tistina where it belongs? You know, I think Crystal Beast just, like... I hate to say this, chat. I think Crystal Beast just, like, need better monsters. Like, um... They got a structure deck, but then they only get one good monster in the entire structure deck. And that's the whole reason that they basically just played it as like a rank four deck. Like they just got the Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, right? So like they, they the fundamental problem with Crystal Beast is they, they only have like three good monsters. They have like Pegasus, Carbuckle, and then like the Rainbow Dragon. And like every other Crystal Beast card is terrible by today's standards. So, like, they just need good monsters. It doesn't matter how many Revolution Synchrons you throw in there. You know? Konami's too faithful to the anime. 
Um, there were no good monsters. Um, new to the structure, and it was too spell. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the, the best cards were just spell cards. Dino, who are you, peeps? Get the fuck out of here. Earth Machine. I mean, like, I don't want to include Earth Machine because, like, it's not fun having a tier zero every time, right? Volcanic, any good? No. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree with this list. I, I think the most egregious thing was the. I, I feel like this is gonna be proven wrong immediately. I, I, every, everyone's just coping on this sprite shit, dude.